start ideating what's not working. What's Who is it not working for and why is it not working? What is the problem? What are the problems that are facing sexual wellness for women today? So finish up your last thoughts. If you want more time, let me know. These ideas, start looking at them and clustering them into uh, different concepts or themes or heat that you see rising. And we're going to be doing this together. And as you see a theme arising, you can take one, uh, you can start putting them these darker yellow cards and giving them a title. If you disagree with the title someone else has put, you could add a secondary title. Um, but really, this is an opportunity, this is a way for everyone to be able to actually read what other people have written and engage with the different perspectives and cluster them. So it's not about perfecting the titles or perfecting the categorization into, you know, amazing so we see some heat arising. I think it's also in relationship to our audience, right? About um, fertility and uh, somatic connection to our bodies and our sexuality. That's right, and diversity. Are there any ideas you think are similar? Funding and its correlation to research. When we vote, we'll vote on that as one. Uh, the lack of true diversity among teachers, facilitators, creators, no one group or one person can address the intersecting factors of race, culture, and sexual gender identity, and it's essential that sexual wellness resources be attuned to the varying needs of women of all backgrounds and identity. And that would uh, possibly apply to fertility as well, right? Diversity is uh, mm -hmm. um, really? overarching. And I can understand why it would take so many words, because <laughs> it is a complex issue, one, one idea. As we, we move into voting, you will be given five votes each. You can vote on all of your own uh, ideas. You can put all your ideas on one card <laughs> in order to add another vote to the same card or add one vote to the card. Once I start the polling, you just click and it'll add a vote. If you want to add a vote on top of that, you have to hit shift and then add or shift and delete that vote to put it somewhere else. If you at any time need these directions again while we're voting, it looks like we're ready to vote. So what we're voting on is what is most important now that would impact sexual wellness for women that could be more deeply researched, prototyped and tested to come up with some, some innovation in the future. I mean, that's for me my goal. That's, that might be too large for you to think about today, um, but what is something that's, that's juicy and important and that, that could be taken forward even just today for us to be able to pull apart and look at different aspects of it to see how might we reframe this problem into possibility. I'll start the voting and now you have to click begin voting and you click on the card, not the title. We have a tie on the top but at least something's rising, right? The gender gap research, focus on medical isolation, not approaching sexual reproduction wellness in 360 degree because of lack of training and tools. Stigma for women afraid to talk about issues because they have been taught shame. There's too much anxiety under pressure on couples if they can't get pregnant, if they can get pregnant. The fear of starting 
um, fertility treatment because of COVID-19. And what we'll do now is I'll take these four um, concepts and I will bring us down to an impact and interest scale. We'll rate our impact and interest of those ideas. I want you to take your mouse, mice, mice, and point. Like if you feel this is high, hover your mouse around, move your mouse around here. If you think it's medium or low, put your mouse there. And wherever that interest is, that's where we'll place the card. So where do you, where do you feel this should be? Where should this be? 